Hey everyone, it's Tony here, and in this video, I'll be your Parent Square tour guide. Follow me as we navigate the platform from a teacher account. I'll show you where you can find tools you might use on the daily, and also get you feeling comfortable and confident inside of Parent Square. From top to bottom, left to right, and all of the clicks between, let's explore the platform together. Before we get too deep, it's good to note that if you ever find yourself lost in Parent Square, you can always click the home button in the upper left corner to recenter yourself. When logged into Parent Square, teachers will see their name in the upper right and their school in the upper left. If you're connected to more than one school, you'll see a drop down just above communicate, allowing you to switch between your schools. The Parent Square platform is split into three basic sections. There's the left side navigation bar, the center feed, and the right sidebar which provides quick access to any events or pending actionable items if you have any. There are three main types of Parent Square communication. They are posts, messages, and alerts and notices. By default, posts addressed to your school classes and groups will show up in your center feed. Here, we can scroll through, read, and even respond to existing posts. We can also click this drop-down arrow to create a new post, poll, or appointment signups. To filter posts in your feed, choose the drop-down arrow under your name and select the class or group whose posts you'd like to see. Choosing Lighthouse Tater Derby will show me group-specific posts. And now we'll go back. Choosing messages in the left side navigation bar allows us to search, read through, and even respond to existing direct message conversations. To create a new one, I'll click this green New Message button here. Hovering over or clicking on the Explore tab in the left side navigation bar will give us some options. The first is Directory. Click here to scroll through or to search for parents, students, or staff by their name or by their child's name. Like before, we can narrow the directory using the filter in the upper right corner. To see my classroom students and their parents, I'll choose my class from the drop down, and there they are. Now let's check out the calendar, also in the left side navigation bar. There's not a lot going on on my calendar because I still have my second grade class selected in the filter. If I select the drop down and choose my school classes and groups, now I'll get to see all of the events that have been planned out at the school and shared through Parent Square. To learn more about an event, I'll hover over it and click into it, and I can even download it to my personal calendar. Now back to my home screen. Further down the left side navigation bar, still under Explore, we see Photos, Videos, and Files. Choosing it will, you guessed it, show you all the photos, videos, and files that have been either shared with you directly or as part of a post. Now let's check out Links. This is a great place to store important, helpful links for parents. Some schools add their acceptable user policies or student code of conduct here, while teachers often add links to enrichment materials or handy apps and websites. Adding links here means that they're always there and you can direct parents to them without skipping a beat. Under Participate in the left side navigation bar, we find interactive Parent Square features. Selecting groups shows us all the groups that this teacher owns, belongs to, or can join. Selecting a group's name will take us straight to that group's homepage. Beneath groups, you will see links to posts that require some sort of an action. It might be a payment, a wish list, or in this case, an acceptable user policy form. I can always search for my posts in the search post field at the top of my screen, or I can click home here and search the right sidebar. Here I'll find posts organized by features or add-ons used. Posts with a calendar event will show up here, followed by any other post actions. Know that anything showing up here was once shared as part of a post. This parking lot of sorts makes it quick and easy to find and track actionable items. Again, you can narrow your results by using the filter in the upper right of your screen. Parent Square help is never more than a click away. Just hit that question mark in the upper right of your screen. Here, you can search our super comprehensive help articles, see what's new, or connect with our amazing customer support team. As you spend time in Parent Square, I know you'll feel more and more comfortable. I'd like to say thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon here at the square.